when it comes to engaging God through my day, a lot of it is is a state of being rather than me going and doing something. So I'm face to face in the spirit realm with God, heart to heart all the time. Um, that's a multi-dimensional way of living in which you're not doing something in the soul or cognitively all the time, but it doesn't mean you're not engaged in the spirit all the time. And I'm quantumly entangled, my soul and spirit are connected. So within me, at the core of my being, I'm connected to heaven all the time. I'm connected to God all the time. Sometimes it's a it's a cognitive engagement where I we talk and share. A lot of it is just heart to heart, this sort of cardiogenosis, knowledge of the heart, where I'm just heart to heart with him. So my spirit is engaged and I'm benefiting from the flow of life and energy and revelation truth that's just being with him rather than me going and doing lots of things i'm actually actively enjoying life here so if i was you know sometimes i do um, quite a lot of work outside or i'm doing stuff here um you know when i'm talking to people for you know maybe five or six sessions a day you know i'm just consciously drawing on that spirit on my spirit engaged with him rather than trying to think well i've got to go and do this i've got to go and do this so there's never a religious chore because there's never something i have to do i enjoy being and that state of being is a state of rest it's a state of peace but i'm also can be consciously sensitive to the father's presence or jesus within me whatever i'm doing so when i'm gardening or i'm outside or i'm working or making something in my workshop I find that I find there's a sense of joy in it because I know God loves God's a great gardener. You know, God's a, you know, Jesus was a carpenter. You know what I mean? So I, I find that I feel their joy in being with me when I'm doing something. And sometimes I feel inspired and sometimes I just feel that, hey, they're enjoying me enjoying life. And I don't do a, a whole lot of religious stuff. I just enjoy being so i enjoy hanging out i enjoy chatting i enjoy just being in the fresh air going for walks so in a sense you can be testing your milk and doing that to the best of your ability but still feel and sense the connection to that place of peace and rest um so the whole religious system obviously wants to program us into doing all sorts of stuff and to drive us into a feeling that it's not good enough but the reality is god loves you unconditionally therefore he puts no conditions on his love he wants you to know that you're approved of and affirmed he wants you to know that that unconditional love is there and his grace and mercy are fully available to you you know and you know the whole super save thing it's like god does not see anyone any different from anybody else he loves us all the same we may have different functions and different roles in our lives, but the bottom line is from God, we're all his children. We're all his sons. He loves us equally. And if we get hold of that, then we, we can be free from the duty obligation of serving and trying to please God and trying to be obedient. And what does God want me to do? Because I've got to be obedient. Jesus only did what he saw the father doing. The father didn't give him a list of instructions. Jesus was in the father and the father was in him. He describes that relationship as I am in John 14, where I am, you may be also. And he was describing I'm in the father and the father's in me. So he was describing an intimacy of relationship, which is a relationship of rest. Because Jesus said, you know, all who are weary and heavy laden, which is what the religious system and the world will bring us into the stress of having enough and all of those things. Whereas when God says, well, seek first the kingdom and I'll add everything to you. So it's just the priority of relationship with him is the key. He just wants relationship. He doesn't want a whole load of servants or slaves. He wants relationship. And in relationship, we share interests and we share the things that we have common interest in. And I love sharing my life and sensing and feeling the joy of God being with me um, without needing to do a whole lot of religious stuff. So I'd encourage you to relax, enjoy and Center yourself 
every so often during your day just to refocus on that place of rest. Because I know if you're busy and you're doing stuff and you're testing milk, you've got to be focused on what you're doing. But every so often, maybe I what I started doing it, I used to set my watch with a little ping on every hour. And in that time it pinged, I would just refocus, be grateful, thankful, focus again on the presence of God with me and be conscious. You know, help me do the best I can in my testing milk. You know, so I'm doing it in a way, not as a, oh, I've got to do something to earn money, but actually, no, I'm doing the best I can do. I'm serving people, making sure they're going to get good milk. So you can see what you do as a positive thing in blessing people. Because everything I do, I do as before God anyway. Therefore, it's always a blessing. And I don't ever feel, oh, I've got to do this, or what if I don't do this? All the negatives, because I know God's love. I know it's unconditional, therefore, there are no conditions. And therefore, if he did nothing, God wouldn't stop loving me. And if I was busy doing all sorts of things, he wouldn't love me anymore. So I need to rest and relax and find my identity in him rather than in what I do. And, you know, no matter who you are and what you do, God actually sees you the way he made you to be and he wants us to discover who we really are and that will free us from the sort of duty religious obligation to serve and do things for god god doesn't want us to do things for him he wants to do things with us and for us to do things with him and that's a whole different state of being where you're living in a place of rest if you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.